all right. Mm -hmm. All right, finna go live, Tom. Okay. Then I'm gonna uh takes a second to set up. All right, Tom. There it is. Okay. Then I'm gonna uh oh we got we look really clear. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, let me let the Patreon people know. Let me just put it in my Patreon. Even though it's public, I just want to make sure they don't miss it. What up, y'all? Pull, pull up in here with me and Tone. We finna, we finna help you get through the Rona. The Rona. Together, we can do nothing against the Corona, but we can at least pass the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You ready, Tom? Yep. Stay ready, you hear me? You feel me, you hear 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 me. All right, let me make sure I can see you on my Zoom and then make sure I can set up to where I can see the comments as well. Gal in the day. All right, what up y'all? Welcome to uh, Kevin Tony Talk Movies. We actually been talking about doing this for a long time, but Tony's very busy, Kevin's very busy, but now neither of us are busy at all. So, I got this movie book. I love movies. Tony loves oh. movies. Movies and Other Things by Shay Serrano. Serrano, I'm sorry. Miss, Miss I Perrano. got the same book. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, there was one chapter in it that I just thought was super funny. We got a couple movie-related things we're doing, but this was just a super funny topic that he had in there. And it goes like this. Let me actually see if I can flip to it real quick. Because the book, uh, his friend Arturo draws, does all the drawings and the, the, the artwork is amazing too. All right. So this is called, <laughs> Is This Movie Better With The Rock In It? Okay. He's got a whole chapter called, Is This Movie Better Than With The Rock In It? So what I'm going to start with is the ones that he has, and then maybe we'll take some from the live people. And Tone, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the movie and the character that The Rock would replace. And then you give me your expert opinion on okay. do you think you would enjoy this movie more if The Rock was in it? Okay, first up, actually, let me go back because I didn't get all the characters on it. All right, <clears throat> let me just make sure I'm all square. All right, here we go. 1987, RoboCop. Is that movie with The Rock better if he is RoboCop? I say it's not better with The Rock as RoboCop. Really? Yeah. Why not? Tone the ro the robot suit would be so big. That's what that, and that's what I'm saying. Like he, the Rock is already damn near like a robot now, <laughs> and so it wouldn't be that much of a change from him as a regular guy to the RoboCop. It was it was more of a drastic change when Peter Weller. Yeah, he had like a vulnerability to him, even though he was a cop. And the way right. they the way they attempted to kill him was so tragic <laughs> that it would be harder to buy if The Rock was that guy. So okay, I give you that because he was on some like Captain America. How half Captain America was a little smaller, so him becoming a super soldier, he's like, oh, that dude was frail, but he had heart. Now he right. got the body, so he got heart and hands. Yeah. But you're saying The Rock? That's like making uh like the Hulk, Captain America. Like he was already big though. You can't, right. You can't it's like it's like the Hulk in the Iron Man suit. Yeah, yeah. It didn't really have the same effect. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so you sure, Tone? You now would you even want to see the rock in a Robocop suit for any reason? Um, 
I mean, yeah, I'd like to see the visual, but I, I don't I don't think the rock in that movie would have helped it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Also, um Robocop was a I went back and rewatched it a while ago, a little more gory than I remember the first go round. I was like, yo, that was kind of wild. And now the Robocop. <laughs> oh, that movie, they took it there. Dude, <laughs> I was like, a dude fell in some toxic waste, got hit by a car and completely splattered. A lot, His whole man. body splattered like a Kool Aid container. <laughs> I don't I was remember. Like, wow. Okay, this is unrelated to what we're talking about. This is just funny. I don't know why this popped in my head. Maybe because we're talking about 1980s movies. One of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in cinematic history is John Cla John Claude Van Damme in Bloodsport when he got the salt in his eyes <laughs> and they went to slow motion. <laughs> ah. Why did they so, slow mo that? It was so long. I was like, enough. I get it. It was like forty-five minutes. <laughs> Uh, he sounds like I, I the best see. cry ever. <laughs> you know the best cry ever. Yeah. <laughs> it was like he restarted the cry every direction he looked. Oh, I can't see over here. Ah, 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 ah. On the left. Oh God. No. Oh God. No. Ah, on the turnaround. Oh, 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 oh. I still can't see. <laughs> It's the slow motion. <laughs> it's all if they would have did that in regular speed, we'd be like, "Oh, he's tripping." But the slow mo is like, "All right, oh, man, we." Good. My gosh. Okay, next movie, Todd. I'm glad you agree with me. 1991, mm -hmm. Predator. Okay. Is that a better movie with The Rock as Dutch Arnold Schwarzenegger's character? Oh. Actually, the Predator came out '87 as well. Oh, maybe they're talking about the '91. Hold oh, then the movie. Let me see. Oh, my bad. I wrote the wrong thing down. You're right. 1987 yeah. Predator. Now, now we cooking. Now, now cooking. I think I think The Rock would kill it in the original Predator. I think he would nail it, hundred percent. But he's not gonna say get to the chopper. Yeah. <laughs> we we losing to get to the chopper. I see you've been pushing too many pencils. We'll lose those lines. Right. Right. But the rock would nail it in that movie. Why do you like him over Arnold? I feel like it's hard to separate because the the Arnold is so synonymous with the original Predator for me. Right. But if they rebooted that right now with the original setup, not like the Alien vs Predator continuing all that, but like the original setup, like if my kids saw. Their first reboot with The Rock in mm -hmm. the Predator, I feel like they'd buy that too for a dollar. Oh, yeah. The, the Rock, would, I, I don't think he would be, I'm not saying he would be better than Arnold because Arnold killed it in The Predator. I think he was perfect for the role. I believe the ruggedness. I believed him 100% in that movie. But I would, I would also believe The Rock as well. And I would totally buy the kick ass re and all of that. Yeah. Bro, yeah, I said that's when Arnold was on big roids. Oh man, he was swole McGee. That little scene with him and Carl Weathers dapped it up, and it was just like just muscle on muscle. <laughs> so strong. The was, dap up, like, they had to hold it for a second, like they're about to man, hold it. they were sweating and glistening. <laughs> you can see every tendon working. It was just Apollo Creed. And the Terminator just duh, duh. okay. I see some in the comments. When we finish this, somebody just put a, a good one in there. We'll we'll go to some in the comments. For, um, also, but, side note, yeah, the Predator's closing credits were made for Family Matters. They were. <laughs> oh my I made a God, video God. to it. I was, <laughs> Yeah, because they were like, they was really, because Carl Weathers caught a gun and was like, <laughs> I was like, they, they really family sitcom, the ending of this gritty movie. 
all the blood, death, you know, dreadlock monster. And at the end, they're just like, <laughs> yeah. And Dude, those people dead. Out. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> all those guys died. <laughs> he holding his intestines in the shot like, I got shot with a laser. <laughs> just clearing my throat. All right. Now, I haven't seen this movie, so this is all you. 1991, Double Impact with The Rock instead. <laughs> and The Rock is Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mm -hmm. The Double we Impact, played. that's a movie with Van Damme playing dual roles. He was yeah. himself and his brother. Uh, yeah. was, so to I The Rocks. To, to The Rocks. Uh, yeah. I would like to see it. I would like to see To The Rocks, because we've never seen that. No. And, and Double Impact, as you know, it's not a classic. You haven't even seen it. I so it would be easy to, you know, Van, we know we know Van Damme for like Bloodsport and Kickboxer yeah. and Time Cop and Universal Soldier, but I feel like he could be replaced in Double Impact. All right, so you're taking The Rock. Okay, yeah. this one is just silly but funny. 1991's My Girl with The Rock as Thomas J. <laughs> Is that the McCully character? Yes. <laughs> I, I'll tell you this. I've never seen My Girl. Tony! I, I found out he died in it. I never watched it. Tony! I was like, I'm not going to do this. It, McCauley was killing during that time. That... Home Alone, The Good Son? Yeah, I saw The Good Son, but I avoided my girl. Oh, Tom. Why, why would I want to get attached just to know he's a beast thing? Hey, you know how many bees it would take to kill The Rock? It's going to take a lot. He ain't finna go out easily like Thomas J. did. That's funny. The Rock and my girl, <laughs> he's a grown man hanging with this kid, and then he dies from a beast thing. That'd be funny. I'm going to need you to go back in time, though. You're going to have to watch My Girl Tone. We, you're credible in the movie Streets. Well, it, it, I think a lot of people haven't seen My Girl. No. Everyone it is. Only, it only made 40 some million at the box office. Yeah, Tone, but we was watching it on this, man. This. <laughs> <laughs> this is what matters back then. My mom did not take us to a lot of movies in theaters then. But this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't see Sister Act 2 back in the habit in theaters. But this? Oh, we ran this inside yeah. out. All right. Next movie. 1994. Speed? Shawshank Redemption. Wow. With The Rock. As Clancy Brown's character, Captain Byron Hadley, the hardest screw that ever walked the turn at Shawshank Redemption. The yeah. main guard. I can I can see the rock in that. Could you? It'll be it'll be a nice departure just to see him in a straight drama, hard case yeah. uh guard in that joint. Because I just see the rock as a complete villain. I've never seen The Rock as a complete villain. I also, I, he doesn't really play toned down roles that much. He yeah. usually beefs it up. Even if it's, you know, starts off toned down, he usually ratchets it, ratchets it up. Yeah. Maybe because he's so big. <laughs> All right, 1997, Tony Baker. Uh -huh. Titanic, except Jack is now The Rock instead of Leonardo DiCaprio. Nah, we got to keep Leo, man. We got to keep Leo. <laughs> Can you imagine The Rock being 6'4", 200, painting? <laughs> Come on, man. Painting, Rose, they in the, he wouldn't even fit in the car they smashed in. He wouldn't. He, he would have snapped the door into pieces. Man. They would have both died. The Rock was holding on. He pulling the door down. They both died. Man, he'd be like, I'm the king of the world. And then they would have leaned the ship forward. They would have flipped in the ocean. And then we got the Poseidon adventure. And then when the, when the, when the boat broke in half, the rock could have held each half and pieced it together. Like he did in Fast and Furious, Hobbs and yeah. Shaw. Yeah. yeah. That Hobbs and Shaw. 
Side note, I am all in for the ridiculousness of Fast and Furious. I can't, I want The Rock to be a bionic. I want him to have a dinosaur arm, like 10 <laughs> movies from now, and the other arm just be a machine gun. Explain it. I don't care. He held a helicopter to a tow truck with his bare hands. Bare hands. No hand cut, no gloves. No chain burn, no nothing. I can't even get some pickle jar open and, and the rock is like, you want me to hold a chopper? Get to the chopper. No, I'm holding it. <laughs> and I'm going to pull him together. Easy. His arm, he didn't dislocate his shoulder or nothing. <laughs> he just went on about his daily life. You got to flex Wait. a little bit after that. You can't just go on about your daily life. Man. Okay. 2007, P.S. Mm -hmm. I Love You. Have oh. you seen that? I've never seen it. All right, we'll move on. Okay, this was in the comments. Now we're moving to the comments. I don't know what all the year these movies came out, but the original Die Hard with The Rock in it. Ooh. This was in the comments. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta keep Bruce Willis. Oh, come on. I know why. I'm going to tell you why. I know why. Part of the allure of Die Hard is Bruce Willis was an everyday guy. Yes. And if you put The Rock in it, you, you just don't buy that because he's a freaking, oh. he's a machine. Right. Yeah. It, you fully believe, and, and even when they casted Bruce Willis, people was like, Bruce Willis in the action movie? Yeah. And I think that's what, that's what made that movie even doper. And right. he and The Rock tried to do a Die Hard with Skyscraper, and it just didn't. It wasn't. Nah, we wasn't buying it. Nah. I just realized yeah. I had left my name as Melissa Fredericks this whole time, but. <laughs> ah. All right. Yeah. So that was in the comments. Okay, tell me about that. I'm gonna take some comments. Y'all throw some in. I'm gonna be writing them down while Tony talks through this one. Okay. This is my suggestion, Tony. Uh -huh. Green Mile. The Rock is John Coffin. Oh man, dog. Uh Whew. Now, th this is a role that he could fit in size-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Clark Duncan was no slouch in the big human department. Uh, yep. So I, I think The Rock would fit right in because his hulking nature, but he was sweet nature, but he looked like yeah. he intimidation. And I know that The Rock can pull off a sweet natured character. He's done it in like Be Cool and even Pain and Gain. Um, and even even in the movie with Kevin Hart, Central Intelligence, he was kind of a he was, nerd. yeah, he so, was. Mm -hmm. So I, I think The Rock would do good in the Green Mile. Okay, we actually got yeah. some pretty good ones in the in the in the chat that I'm gonna I'm gonna list. I'm gonna look for a little bit, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. list them off, and then we'll go. I don't know if I I think I don't know if the, the Rock can get as docile as Michael Clark Duncan got, and also Michael Clark Duncan was humongous. He probably yeah. was bigger than The Rock. Yeah, oh yeah. So I think that helped because he was so freaking huge. Right. He was huge, dog. All right, I got like 10. Now. I'm going to only do a couple of these. Uh, I'm going to do like these, and I want to go to this game because we played this movie game yesterday, and we all sucked, and this is what gave me this idea because I was like, man, Tony would have been good at this, but you weren't here. <laughs> all right. The Rock as Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies, better or worse? Oh, man. Um. Uh... You know what, man? Because in my opinion, no disrespect to Arnold. Arnold was dope. Arnold was Arnold was Arnold. But that movie belonged to Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, I think she completely killed it in that movie, and she got a lot of screen time. That was equally her movie. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think The Rock would do even better than Arnold in that joint. Can you replace The Rock with Arnold in any Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Is he a better movie? Um, Kindergarten? I don't know. Because I, I think Arnold was perfect for The Terminator. Because of oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. for sure. Oh, the first Terminator, the first two are my favorite. And I think I like two oh. more than one. I don't know, man. One when he was bad was good too. They're both really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But I think the the accent and, and Arnold's look, the the yeah. the uh the rock is more handsome than Arnold. 
And I think right. I kind of bought, like, I was like, I don't know, man. Arnold Schwarzenegger could be a robot. Like, he, yeah. I bought that. I was like, this dude looks like, if you scrape the skin off, there's robot exoskeleton. I, I, I like it. I, I believe it. I believed it, man. I believed he was a machine from the future 100%. The yeah. Rock, the Rock looks too human, man. He looks too human. He's so handsome. He's so doggone charming. Arnold wasn't charming. He wasn't handsome. And when Arnold is not smiling and he's got the shades on, there's not an ounce of emotion. Yeah. No smiling. <laughs> And when The Rock's not smiling, you always feel like he's about to do the... Yeah. Like, he's yeah. so funny that you know... He's a wrestler, so he's like... Even when he's not talking, he's like exuding confidence. But what about right. Kindergarten Cop, though, Tone, with The Rock? I think um, I think The Rock would do great in Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. I think... Because I, I can really see the kids really liking him in the classroom. Um, so I, I think he would nail Kindergarten Cop. I think he would nail Twins. I was going to say twins, too. I wonder what you thought on that. Yeah, I think he would nail twins. Uh, and also, what was another big Arnold movie? Um, we did Predator already. Twin. Oh, Total Recall, I think. The Rock oh, would man. Funny story. When I was a kid, I saw Total Recall. The three boobs, I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they look real. I, I mean, they like, look like they were done, but it looked like yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, was oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I like, I like. I, I like always that. wondered, did she have a complete suit on so they were all fake boobs, or did she have her two real ones, and then they put the fake one in the middle? I, I've never thought about that at all. I always wondered that. That's a good point. <laughs> All right, next one. The Rock as any Batman. Oh, man. Because some stunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, some uh, movie stunk, but I, I kind of think I bought every Batman, though. I, I don't have a I don't have a straight complaint with any of the Batman. Well, Val Kilmer was he brought nothing was, to the table. He was my least favorite. I didn't yeah. mind the movie, but he was just my least favorite Batman. He was boring, man. He was boring. <laughs> oh, he was boring. Um, okay, I got one. I'll switch that. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises with The Rock as Bane. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Here's the thing about Bane. Yes, I think it would make a better movie with him as Bane because now Tom Hardy is probably one of the, the best actors out. Yeah. But since his face was covered the whole time, it really didn't matter that it was him. No. Except the acting ability. Except for except for just the way he was talking. That's all yeah. we got. We, we saw no face, no nothing. Yeah. So on sheer size and like intimidation, I think the rock would be perfect for Bane. But do you think he could pull off the the acting part? Like, do you feel in control? That I don't know if I the Tom was acting in that. He was acting, but it, low key, his accent was kind of distracting a little bit. Really? He sounded like Sean Connery. He a did little bit. Sound like Sean Connery. <laughs> yeah, so it was just like Sean Connery, James, James Bond, as as, as and and it, and it wasn't a very like showy acting performance. I did feel intimidated by him, yeah, which is the key. But uh, but in the cartoon, Bane was huge. Yeah, it was way bigger than Tom Hardy. So as far as like sheer mass, The Rock has Bane. I'm like, oh man, like when he yeah. beat up Batman, you would have thought he's dead for real. Yeah, yep. I'm By still, way, I'm still like, I wish they would have beefed that fight scene up a little bit more. Really? Because I, I don't think fight choreography is Christopher Nolan's strong suit. No, for sure. I, I agree with you 100%. And I know how important fight choreography is to you. Uh, but the thing I think I liked about the this fight scene, uh, it, it just showed that that Batman was completely outmatched. And he's yeah. never been outmatched. When Bane said you fight like a young man, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, you're breaking him down. 
Like, cause Batman was, <laughs> and he was like, oh, you fight like a young man, so full of anger. And then it just, I was like, uh, what? That never happened to him before. In the movie prior, he was beating up the Joker and the Joker was like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this <had> to... <laughs> like he was getting beat up. So that's two movies in a row where beating yeah, yeah. people up just wasn't having the effect that, you used, that you're used to it having. And also my only complaint with The Dark Knight Rises uh, they went out like a sucker, man. Oh, the go out was trash. Oh, he was too good of a villain to go out like that. He gets shot by Catwoman off the motorcycle. That's oh nah, man, you gotta see Batman one on one on the fade. I need that rematch, bro. I Come need on, to man. see you beat him up one on one, but I get it. At that point, he realized that Ra's al Ghul's daughter is the villain now, but nah, you gotta see me. You broke my back, bro. You gotta yeah, see no. me straight up. You broke my back and left me alive to just marinate in the back break. <laughs> he, made, he made Batman look like a dude named Gus that was drunk at the bar and he works 40 hours a day. He works 40 hours a week at Walmart. And he was just like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is Batman. Batman! Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. He tried to do a little smoke tricks. He was like, pew, 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 right? Oh, he's still standing there. Oh, okay. All right. He made Batman look so pedestrian in that. Oh, and when Batman turned the lights off, he's like, I'll show you darkness. He was like, yeah, I was born in the darkness, molded by it. By the time I, saw the light, I was already a man. It was blinding. He like, darkness is my thing. Come I'm on. I can't have nothing. I'm supposed to be mysterious. You're scared of the dark, right? I mean, right? <laughs> my back. <laughs> my back. Oh. When he dropped the, the Batman mask, I was like, who? Man, who? dog. He served him up on life. ceremony, Mr. Wayne. All right. Bad Boys. These are all audience suggested. Oh, Bad yeah. Boys. The Rock as Will Smith. I think, for me, the key to Bad Boys, especially the first one, first one more so than the second, Martin was the key. Y yes. And Bad Boys won. Yes. He was the key. So The Rock could easily play a Mike Lowry in that first one. Yeah. Cause because because Mike Lowry is, is a is a tough guy, loves to be a cop, good looking dude, uh ladies man, and I can see The Rock being all of that in this movie. But is it better with The Rock than Will Smith? Not uh, can The Rock do it. Is it better? Man, I, as much as I love Bad Boys and Will Smith in it, I think I think The Rock could, could replace Will Smith in that first one for sure. But make it, it better. better. I, I think, because The Rock has comedic timing, and I think he would, he played, the, the Rock plays well off of comedians. Like the, the chemistry yeah. between him and Kevin Hart is dope. Like when they go yeah. at it, even on social media, it's yes. Chris. Yes. And I could see Martin being jealous of him staying at the house with his wife when they were trying to do the swap. I'm going to disagree with you. Mm -hmm. I think The Rock can do it. I don't know if The Rock is as cool as Will. They're both very cool. Mm -hmm. Both very cool. But Will, with the, with the purple suit and the cars, he might edge The Rock out a little bit on the cool factor. Because yeah. there's only so cool you can be when you're huge and muscular, like that right. big. Will was like, as Mike Lowry, like, man, Will was the super, like Denzel is the coolest. Yeah. And I think Will probably is the net, as far as black people, Denzel, Will, and then probably George Clooney is like, these guys are just cool. Right. And the thing and I, is, that's why I always bring up the first, the first bad boys on yeah. the replay. Because they 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 amped up Will Smith for the second. Oh part. yeah, way way more. They way amped more. up his swag, his his screen time, his action uh, 
doings and all that. They amped him up big time in that second one. Yeah. The first one, Will was more uh, subdued. Okay. Somebody just threw another one in, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it in. I, I was done with the comments, but I like this one. Yeah. And I don't know if you're going to go with it, but – oh, no, actually, this was next. The Rock as Morpheus in The Matrix. No. I don't no. think so either. No. He, he's not old enough, one. Yeah. That's a, that's a big no. That's the <laughs> – <laughs> That's probably the hardest no of the day. Like uh Lawrence Fishburne was just perfect for that because yeah. Morpheus, Morpheus, the way he talks is kind of hypnotic. So so when he's talking it to you, is. Like, every, everything is like calm and he feels like he's teaching Especially you. Especially early in the movie. Mm -hmm. I'm really yeah. excited about this because me and my kids and my wife, we've been watching a movie every single day during this quarantine. And we got uh, one more um we got one more uh, Bond movie tonight, and then we're starting on the Matrix trilogy tomorrow. And I cannot wait for them to watch the Matrix. They haven't, seen it. Out of the they haven't seen it. They have oh. no idea. And they're yeah. both big on action movies. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they're, they're in for a treat. By the way, Skyfall is an amazing Bond movie. Okay. Have they seen The Raid? The Raid? Yeah. The Raid not, not. 1 and 2. I never even heard of those oh. movies. Show them that the raid, the raid? And, yeah, the raid, Who's and that? raid. Uh, nobody famous. It's some Indo Indonesian cats. Oh, okay. You know, okay. you know what? Since the raid, you've been seeing these cats in other movies. Like they, uh, a couple of them was in John Wick Three, and like were the two new two dudes with the fight and the knives at the end. Yeah, one of them was in like the raid two. And then okay. another guy was in like uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Like ever since the raid came out, America has been like, "Yo, this could be." Is it guys. new? Is it a newer movie? Yeah. The raid one came out, and I want to say maybe uh, 2012, 13, and then the sequel came out in like 2015. Okay. All right. Cool. Next, The Rock as Prince in Purple Rain. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's another big no. Now, now the rock would improve the acting ability for sure. <laughs> but Purple Rain is a musical, and you know, Prince is legend. Oh, that was just funny. Seeing the rock with imagine the rock playing the guitar <laughs> in the ruffled shirt, in the ruffled shirt, in the blouse. Come on, man. <laughs> Here's an interesting one, Tone. This is from the comments, and I really like it. And by the way, uh, shout out to, uh, I'm sorry, I missed who, whoever gave us a tip. Um, thank you. I'll just split it with Tone. We're both comedians out of work, so we're, we're going to the other part of our ability. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry for any of those old school comedians who were like, social media is nothing. Well, guys, it's something now. And I'm glad we were already doing it, because now I'm just like, OK, I'll make a 1,000 videos a day. All right, right. A good one, Tone. The Rock as Robin Williams in Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, wow. No. I don't think he's funny enough. No, he's not funny enough. He's not small enough. You can't have no nanny pulling uh, up that true. side. <laughs> if people are falling for it. I forgot about, like, Robin Williams, Miss Doubtfire was bigger. Mm -hmm. But if, if you, if, if The Rock is, that's like, that's too big. So when they open the door, they'd be like, Dad? Because <laughs> you know, to those kids, that if The Rock was their dad, that's probably the biggest human they would know. Yeah. They'd be like, Dad in the wig piece? And then the jig is up. The movie would have been 15 minutes. The jig is absolutely up. OK. Uh, the Rock as Wesley Snipes in Blade. Ooh. Oh. Uh, no, I got to give it to Wesley, man. I, he, I gotta. Okay, admittedly, I didn't know about Blade until that movie. I wasn't much of a comic book reader as a kid. I watched cartoons, so superheroes that were in cartoons, I knew mm -hmm. about. So all the X-Men, Spider-Man, Batman, animated, all that stuff, Dragon Ball Z, yes. Right. Wesley Snipes is what Blade looks like to me. Yeah. I don't even care what he looks like in the comic book. Wesley Snipes is Blade. He looks right. like, I mean, I just, I buy it. Yeah. 
And Wesley is not too far off from how Blade looks in the comic book. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not it's not too far off. It, he wasn't a stretch at all. So Blade is like a darker skinned dude, regular, you know, regular square haircut. And he, he was never a big Marvel character. He was never like, yo, no, no, no. Blade. He was just yeah. so he was able to Wesley Snipes, just like Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, made the character more popular. 100%. Because I remember me and Melissa were just talking about this. We were like, bro, Iron Man was not popping when we were kids. Right. Like, it was cool, but he was not popping like that. But the no. movie, Iron Man 1, I was like, they didn't even do this this good in the early years. I would have I would have been on board with Iron Man if, if he was like this. Because I feel like they ratcheted up the, the sarcasm a little bit more with uh, RDJ because he was like Spider-Man was probably the most sarcastic superhero coming up because he would be getting right. beat up and still talking trash. <laughs> Is that all you got? Spider-Man got yeah. beat up, bro. Oh, all the time. He, <laughs> he be was, getting jumped, beat up. They just be, his costume stayed tore up. <laughs> his, his eye would be hanging out of the costume, hair hanging out. Whole back is just open, brawling, strapless back. He would get work. Oh, man. Okay, somebody just threw this one. It's a pretty good one. The Rock, and thank you for the tips. The Rock as Riddick in Pitch Black. I think The Rock, I think The Rock can do any role Vin Diesel has done. I don't from, know about Groot. Private Ryan on. Groot? I, I will say the voice work, The Rock can't get him on. So Groot and the Iron Giant. No, yeah. but any of the any of the the live, I can see the Rock in the pacifier. I can see him in Pitch Black. I can see him in the Boiler Room. I can see him in Man Apart. All of that. Okay, I forgot. Mm -hmm. I rewatched Saving Private Ryan, and I totally forgot that Vin Diesel was even in it. He went. Out, he man. died so dumb. I was frustrated with him. I was like, man, come oh, on. Man. We got a lot going on. All right, The Rock as Marcus Aurelius Maximus in Gladiator. Wow. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. I would totally buy The Rock as a general. You know, you, we know he has the fighting choreography chops, even, even probably more so than Russell Crowe. But man, now, Russell Crowe's internal Yeah. Element. The wife, the love lost part of Russell Crowe yeah. in that movie. And also, I think, again, Russell Crowe not being a huge guy, like, physically helped us, like, mm -hmm. move for him more. Like, we knew he was good and he was smart and all that. But when it came right. down to the fight scenes, like, man, it was like him against the tiger, like, the rock against the tiger and stuff. You're like, ah, man, I don't know. The rock might be able to, to see the tiger one-on-one. -on -one. But Russell right. Crowe, he was he killing wasn't sure. You weren't sure. You were not sure. And I hated Joaquin Phoenix for a good four years after that movie. I was just like, oh. Man, he was, he played that role so good. And I was like, I hate it. I hate what, what kept me from hating him even longer was because I hated Orlando Bloom even more in Troy because he got Hector killed. I have forgotten about that. And you have now brought... The worst part about that, so when Brad Pitt is outside screaming Hector and and mm -hmm. and uh and he's just hugging his people like I'm dead, thanks, bro. I love y'all. With all the all the hugs, like he knew he was not coming back, bro. He knew he yep. knew he was done. He still went out there like a man. I'll never forgive you, Orlando Broom. All right, last man. one. I want to play this game. The Rock mm -hmm. has Pennywise in it. <laughs> oh man <laughs> no the rock is so likable and, and and handsome and stuff i can't i can't see myself being scared even though i'm scared of everybody in clown makeup right <laughs> and, and pennywise being smaller makes him scarier to me Really? You don't want to you yeah. get rid of a humongous clown? A muscular clown? Not as much as I would, just a little skinny, weird, creepy clown. And also Bill Skarsgård, at least in the most the, the eyes thing that he does. Uh, 
His eyes were crazy, man. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. All hey, right, yo, so, I don't think I don't think you saw the second it because you don't do scary I movies. Do not watch them. There the was first a- it, the original one was enough for me. Oh man! But I did watch some videos of him doing the eyes, and I was like, "Oh God, absolutely not!" I boom, this is my stop. I'm getting off. There's a scene under the bleachers in the second one. <laughs> no, How did you no, deal no, with it? No, you don't like clown. No. No, no, no. <laughs> it would have been a whole choir behind me under the bleachers. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I always forget that you know the whining's music. Man, listen. The whining's. You know the whining's. And here's one thing, I'm not gonna go into our Anita Baker thing, but here's my one issue with my mom that I cannot get in my head. Anita Baker and the Winans have a song together. Why did that, that that should have been my introduction. I could have been like, oh, cause we played all the Winans, right. but they never played that song. If I heard that, I'd be like, oh, who is this lady? I would right. that should have been my end. Yeah. And Anita Baker's music is family friendly. Tone, I don't know how many times I have to explain to you. If it's not gospel, it is the devil. There is no family friendly. My dad wouldn't let me listen to just the two of us, the Will Smith song. I was like, dude, it's about his we think baby. just the two of us, one of them is the devil. Exactly. exactly. We ain't gonna be listening to that. I was like, dad, like, oh, come on. No. And then he got mad at me one time because I was like, what about jazz? He was like, if you want to just sin, then sin. I was like, oh my god, it's not even any words in jazz. It's just music. <laughs> Why? How can that be devil music? If they're not saying Jesus, maybe the notes they're playing are D D E V I L D E V I L. You don't know, and they gotta say Jesus. They blowing the devil's breath <laughs> in the mysteries. <laughs> my God. All right. <clears throat> so. I bought this game at Target. Mm-hmm. Blockbuster. The home. Yo, I love that game. Oh, you know it. I, we played it at this uh, cafe in uh, Sacramento. And they just had Fantastic. it in there. Fantastic. So oh, yesterday, it. we were shooting uh, some game night videos. It's probably the last time we do any videos with people around. We had it only like five people, but then I'm not sure now with that Rona. So we're doing it head to head, and we were playing it like five seconds. So we got to do three movies of whatever this thing is. And when yeah. I tell you nobody could do it, Tone, I, I, we were just like, man, Tony should have been here. 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 And I thought I was good at movies, but man, I was not. So now you are here to redeem yourself from not right. yesterday. This is the five seconds on the clock. I'm going to start y'all with five. Uh, oh, is that game again? Oh, God. No, I just took this. From that game, but it's all movies. Yeah. This is just a timer. Okay. Okay. Five seconds on the clock. Name three movies with snakes. With who? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't hear that. You, you stalled out. All right. I'll do a new one. Okay. Name three movies with robots. Uh, I Robot, the Iron Giant, Terminator. See, I knew you would be good. I, I said, I said, Transformers, Decepticons, Autobots. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Name three movies with Scarlett Johansson. Uh, Civil War, The Avengers, and The Avengers Endgame. Two for two, Tony Baker. <laughs> two for two. I said, The Black Widow. That's it. <laughs> that hasn't even come out yet. Five seconds is pressure, man. I Five seconds is, is so fast. I can't do it. Right? <laughs> You're two for two. Mind you, it took us 30 minutes for us to get to three. We just kind of cut the video off. All right, here we go. Next one. Uh, Name three movies with vampires. Play Interview with a Vampire Dracula. 
Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I'm giving you a little time because I know the Zoom is a little bit. I want to give you a fair shot at okay. that five seconds, but you're absolutely killing this. Okay, name three movies with gadgets. Inspector uh, Gadget, Batman, Ghostbusters. Woo! Woo! Tony Baker, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here's the one that I'm repeating that I said first, but you didn't hear clearly. Okay. Name three movies with snakes. Uh, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. I'll give you they that. They all three. They always one brought the same rules is you can't do sequels. But those oh, are is, that, is that the rule? That's one of the rules. However, I don't think that really counts because that sequel wouldn't have, like, it's not a snake sequel. Those three movies just happen to have snakes in them. Oh, okay. By the way, is it time for an Indiana Jones reboot? Well, they, they're doing a, I think they're doing another one. With, With not him. with horror, are they? I thought, I, I, that's they were talking about. It. Oh no! Come on, man. No. Yeah. Also, I Harry think, Ford has looked old forever. He has, because he, he didn't even he didn't even get popular when he did Star Wars. He was in his thirties. Was it really? Yes. Yes. What was that movie he did? Where uh, the Fugitive was that after Star Wars? Oh right? yeah, that was ninety three. Love the Fugitive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great. He's got, he's got a great. Track Air Force One, mm -hmm. all those, all those uh, Tom Clancy joints, Queen of Present Danger. And yeah. Thank you, Orisha Coffee. God bless you. All right, Tom. Name three movies with a giant monster. Oh, snap. oh man, I got nothing. I just shut down. <laughs> you, you, a giant you, monster. You look, you look I had nothing. I knew it was oh, it was a rapper. Man. Oh, now I'm thinking of everything. King Kong, Godzilla. <laughs> All right. So far, by the way, you would have won this game easily yesterday. Ah. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It took you eight tries to miss one. All right. Yeah. Name three movies with Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, okay. The Hunger Games, uh, ah, The Silver Linings Playbook, and oh, gosh, and what was her name? You were gonna say the other Hunger Games movie. I saw it in your face. <laughs> I wanted to avoid the same. See, she was so good in Silver Linings Playbook. What was that movie she did where the name of the movie was just her name? Uh, her Judy. Uh, it started with a J. Judy or. Julie, maybe it was Julie. She played that woman who sold the vacuum cleaners. Yeah, I never saw it though, but I remember that's what I was joy. trying to it get. Was it was joy, joy, joy. Ah. Ah. joy. All right, I'm trying to give you ones that are different. All right, here we go. Name three movies where someone goes to jail. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're no angels. Forty-eight hours, another forty-eight hours. Oh, we can't do sequels. So check the difference. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow! I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow that. Okay, name three movies with Tom mm -hmm. Cruise. Uh, Top Gun, Cocktail, and Rain Man. Cocktail? What's that about? He was a bartender, uh, came out like 88. Mm. What is the best Tom Cruise movie, Tony? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, what is my favorite Tom Cruise? I really like Minority Report a lot. Love uh, Minority Report. That was great. I like the first Mission Impossible a lot. The first, the first, you know what? All of those have been good. Even though, even though the second one doesn't hold up well, mm. the time that it came out, I was like, yo. But they have all been like dope. Uh, Shout out that's to one of the Bond. bigger franchises out here. No, it's, it's that in the Bond franchise and the Bourne. Because yeah. sometimes the Bond franchise can get too complicated to where I'll be like, what? Yeah, and, and they can have some snoozers. I'm going to tell you, Quantum of Solace, I was like, man, who cares? Quantum and even Spectre. I was kind of like, all right. I know I'm not excited. We're supposed to watch Spectre tonight. And I'm just like, ah. yeah. Quantum of Solace. I was like, bro, I don't care about the villain. I don't care about the story. I just don't care. 
Yeah, man. I just and don't. Bond never has a formidable fighting villain. Nah. It's always the mind. Now, Javier Bardem as a villain. First of all, Javier Bardem can do no wrong as a villain. He is yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Jojo had to sit up. When he took the mouth out, Jojo was like, oh, okay, oh. this guy is, I mean, what the <laughs> heck is going Dude, on? They settled into his oh. normal state. Oh, 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 it was so gross. <laughs> Like, why did you pull this out, man? How much? Go. And he had the teeth. It was like, yo. Man. Yo. Shout out to the show. Patty and, and Tom. Y'all are giving some, some tips. Now, mind you, we're not asking for tips. We're just poor comedians, but we're grateful for everything. All right, let's do a couple more. And then I want these people to watch you do Six Degrees of Separation. Oh, yeah. I love doing that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Name three movies with a baby. Uh, baby, stay out. Home alone. Three men and the baby. You have you have plenty of time left. I mean, you had all types of time. By the way, Fuller is so funny in the first Home Alone. He was drinking the Pepsi like. Uh, <laughs> I'm he knew, he knew what he was about. He knew what he did. I'm peeing in that bed. Peeing beds. <laughs> this is what I do. I pee in beds, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> he looked at McCully Culkin like, you know what it is, Playboy. You sleeping with me, piss. <laughs> piss. And he was loading up on the drinks. He was like, he was throwing the cans back. He was like, yeah. The Pepsi? I, he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo. I was peeing like I ain't peed before. Man, he's Why a good actor. His... Oh, he's great. He's Kieran Culkin is slept on. Have you watched uh, Succession? No. Oh, Tony. What is that on? What is that on? HBO. Oh. You got the, you got HBO, right? Yeah. I'm watching Westworld now. I'm trying to get through that. Okay, don't stop Westworld. Okay. Jeffrey Wright is acting his butt off in Westworld. Fandy Newton bringing it too. They all bringing it. Cause she, uh, I'm like on season one still, like episode six, I think. But all right. So now she's she's like, you know, she's yeah. punking those those texts. She Watch punking them. Succession. We got nothing but time on our hands. Watch Succession. Uh, Karen Culkin is 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 great in it. All okay. right, here's a good one for you. Name movies with three movies with city in the title. Uh. Sex in the City, City Heat, City by the Sea. God, I didn't think you were going to get that one, Tony. I ain't going to hold you. I didn't think that I didn't was, think I was good. That I was, good. was very impressive. And you didn't even say Sin City, which is the only one I know off the top. Sin City, the first one was dope. You, literally, you have like a photographic memory when it comes to movies. This game with just regular stuff, I said name three cheeses. You're like, ah. Oh, it was so much. Uh, it was like name three Nissan cars. I was like, <laughs> City of God, by the way, City of God, my favorite foreign film. Actually, man, City of God and Parasite are, are neck and neck for my favorite foreign film. City of God is still my favorite. But Parasite was damn good. I got a lot of I got a lot of dope foreign films that I enjoy. I really like Crouching Tiger and like uh, oh. the Ray. The I'm telling you, man, the Ray. I'm watching it. Those two more. I hope I don't know where you can find them because they're not streaming anywhere. But let me tell you something: the fighting in these movies. Oh yeah, yeah. guys, Tony has a cash app. I'm also gonna split all this money with Tony. Um, I actually don't know how it's calculated on YouTube, but I guess I can go back and look it. But Tony, shout your cash app out if somebody want to send you some bread to show love. Oh. Uh, my cash app is Tony Baker Comedy, but it's got the cash app in the front. I mean, the cash symbol in the front. Of Tony Baker Comedy on everything, guys. Venmo, cash app, whatever you TikTok. Are you are you on TikTok yet? I made a TikTok because Sabrina's been telling me I should try something on TikTok, so I made the account, but I still haven't posted. You can anything. just post the animal voiceovers on there too. You don't have to do nothing new. 
That's what I was thinking. Uh, All Trevor that, does is repost his sketches. He he cuts some down. He said he made a killing, and he didn't even come up with no new TikTok talent. And you have a whole bunch of new young fans. What's um? What is the the time limit on TikTok? A minute. Okay. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Name three movies that are set on the ocean. Uh, Titanic, Speed Two, and UV Five Seven One. Great movie, by the way. It was a good Absolutely movie. good movie. I don't know where it came from in my brain, but it scrambled up. I know. I thought you were going to go Perfect Storm, but your brain is just like, we've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you are really impressive, Tone. This is... Woo! Yo, that, that one game night we did on the video haunts me, man. I was like, redemption. So I'm like Bane. I'm like I'm like the villain in the Bond movie. My face is too off. I need to get revenge. Did you ever say what your favorite Tom Cruise movie was? Oh, oh, oh uh, I was still thinking. Let me look at his resume and then I'll tell you. Pull it up. Because uh, he was good in the um, uh, the movie with him and Jack Nicholson. What is that movie called? Oh, uh, the truth. Um. Oh, a few good men. A few good men. Tom Cruise has a great resume. He's a great actor. He's tiny though. Yeah, he's little man. He he's the American Jackie Chan. Cause he be doing his own stunts and he does not have to. <laughs> yeah. He was good in Top Gun too. Top Gun's a pretty good movie. Uh, movie with him and Dustin Hoffman is really good. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, Rain, Rain Man. man. Rain Gary man. McGuire. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire was great. I buy him as a sports agent, a, a greasy, slick sports agent. Mm -hmm. Show oh, me the money. Sure. Show oh, Collateral me. was dope. Who? Collateral. Oh, that is one of my favorite movies that people don't talk about enough. They both had such good. That year, Jamie had Ray and Collateral within like three months of each other. Yeah. He was both. He was nominated for Oscars that same night for both roles. Man, both amazing movies. And Tom was good in 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 a. Uh, man, we need to watch that. I'm gonna put that on my list of movies to show. Tom me. Cruise, in my opinion, is always good. Yeah, I, don't, I can't think of him being. He's not. He's not really in any bad movies. Right. I've never. I've never seen Tom Cruise be like. Ah, I wasn't feeling Tom in that joint. <laughs> The movie, the movie may be so like I didn't like Vanilla Sky or Eyes Wide Shut at all. I hated Vanilla Sky. Hey, oh, oh, I hated that. Uh, Thank right. you. Crystal. All right, Tom, come on, man. All right, so so I'm gonna go with my favorite Tom Cruise movie. It's between it's coming down to Minority Report and. Man, I want to. I, I just want to consolidate all the Mission Impossible's into one and just be like Mission Impossible, but I can't do that. So I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Minority Report. I ain't mad at you there, Tom. All right, Na Okay, I'm gonna do three more, and then I'm gonna do Six Degrees of Separation. Okay. Name three movies set in the jungle. Okay, uh, Jumanji, Predator, and Anaconda. Nice. By the way, oh. Jumanji is one of my favorite reboots. Oh, time. they they just was like, let's try not to do nothing Robin Williams did and mm -hmm. just play on the strength of The Rock, Kevin Hart and Jack Black. Kevin Hart was, yeah. was great. Jack Black, one of my favorite actors, always, oh. always great. Even as serious, mm -hmm. like Jack Black I'm is in the enemy of the state. Yes. As just one of the guys, not yes. even being funny. No, he was serious too in uh, King Kong. Dead serious. But him as Dead a white serious. girl in Jumanji, I was like, this is so funny. School of Rock, Nacho Libre, Saving Silverman. Yeah. He's always yeah. good. Tenacious D. He's great. And he's been fat. Yes. He's even great on YouTube. I don't know if you ever watch his YouTube videos. Jablinski, he's funny. He's just funny. I love that. He can that. do nothing wrong in my eyes. Nothing wrong. There will be no Jack's black slander. Mm. Oh, this is a, this, uh, this is a good one. I wonder if you get this one, Tony. Uh oh, These two. 
Name three movies based on a true story. Oh, crap. Uh, Ray, Straight Outta Compton, Bohemian Rhapsody. You said, oh, crap, like you didn't know you were going to get it easily. <laughs> I'm always panicking. You just five. fired three off in, in, in no time. Five, ain't, five seconds ain't nothing. It ain't. By the way, I think I liked Rami Malek's performance in Bohemian Rhapsody more than I liked the movie. Me too. If that makes the sense. Movie, the movie was missing something, man. I don't know I, what it was. I don't know what it was, but I was like, I like this dude as as a uh, um Freddie. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Mm -hmm. I liked him so much, but the movie, like, and I love biopic, like oh. biopics about musicians and bands oh. and groups. You can usually go no wrong with that, but I was just like, man, this movie was like mm, something about yeah. it. I did like Bohemian better than Rocket Man. Oh boy, when I tell you, <laughs> me and Melissa was on a cruise. We turned on Rocket Man when Elton right. John first started singing in the in the the uh, rehab. I was like, nope. Yep. <laughs> because they made it. They made it a musical, Cam. <laughs> They made a biopic, an actual musical we, music. I didn't know. I like, just we, thought we're not gonna be singing in the streets. Uh, we're not doing oh. this. When I tell you I turned that off, I was like, oh no. No, man. I want them singing in concert or in yes. the studio. I love you in finding that song that we love, watching the artist figure out that song, where that song came from, recording studio, their first small concert. Big concert after they fell yeah. off, put the music there, but a full yeah. on performance. Oh, no, nah, they was in the streets doing, doing choreographed uh -oh. moves and people coming out of nowhere. I checked out like a hotel clerk. I'm out of here. No, thank you. Oh. 2020. I, and I was excited about it, and I was not. Me too. I was because I'm a fan of Elton John's. So I was like, yes, let's get it. And then I was like, they really doing a music. <laughs> but see, I didn't mind music. I guess for me, when I'm not sure a movie is a musical and it turns one, I'm like, nope. Like Dream Girls, yeah. I didn't mind that as a musical. Because I went in expecting, like. And it was it was like watching a play on film. And also, I'm still mad that Eddie Murphy didn't win the Oscar for Jimmy Early. Oh, I he never was forgive the favorite. Me for that. They robbed him on that one. They way. robbed him, man. That was such an amazing performance, man. I was like, bro, come on. They just loved Alan Arkin so much. They was like, let's just give him one. I think they thought Alan Arkin might pass away. They're like, we can get Eddie another time. But Alan, we got to get Alan. And that's our boy. We, we got to get Alan, man. All right. We've been nominated several times already. <laughs> Name three movies beginning with a B. Uh, B movie, uh, Beast, and uh, Bumblebee. Ah, Bumblebee. Again, the only one I thought of. I think you've gotten all but two so far. Name three movies where someone gets eaten. Oh, wow. Uh, King Kong, Eight Legged Freaks, Alien. You love Alien. Oh, uh, is that your favorite <laughs> movie? Aliens, the second one, is my favorite movie. Of all time. I have several favorites, but when people ask me, I got to pick one. It's always between Big Trouble in Little China and Aliens, but I'm going to go with Aliens. Me and Melissa just randomly watched Big Trouble in Little China. Very good. Oh, my God. We've been watching movies like crazy. Okay, guys, we're moving on from this game. Tony Baker is the man. Okay. Oh, let me, let me add this in, too, real quick. Okay. They're talking about doing a re remake of Big Trouble in Little China with The Rock. Really? Yeah. I would like to see it. Me too. I watch but a movie I love, with Rock I love in it. Kurt in that joint. Love him. Okay, so here's how Six Degrees of Separation works. You give Tony any two actors, and he has six movies to connect them. And try to and give me actors that we know. Actors that we know, okay. <laughs> and here's a I'm a, I'm gonna help facilitate it. I'll 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 pull from the comments. What you want to avoid are actors that were in humongo cameo movies like 
anybody who is in Avengers, <laughs> like if you can get in an Avengers or Ocean's Eleven, man, Tony is going to connect the dots. <laughs> so stay away from movies where the actors were in that as at least as a starting point. He gonna connect them anyway. Because that's just, he gonna do what he does. But <clears throat> start from there. Okay, so here's one. Craig Robinson and Idris Elba. Oh, okay. Craig Robinson, Idris Elba. Oh, this is pretty, uh... This is a good one. Oh, okay. Here we go. Craig Robinson was in, um... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just lost it. All right, hold on. Craig Robinson, okay, okay. Craig Robinson was in Pineapple Express with James Franco, who was in uh, Alien Covenant with Michael Fassbender. Wait, who am I connecting? Craig, <laughs> Craig Robinson and Idris Elba. <laughs> oh, okay. Who was, in, who was in Alien Covenant with Michael Fassbender, who was in Prometheus with Idris Elba. woo How many was that? Four? So, uh... I, f I forget how, how you do the count. Each name is one. Each name? Okay, yeah. so so James Franco, Michael Fassbender, Idris Elba. So, so two. It took me two to connect the two. All right. I'm just writing them down, Tone. I'm okay. trying to write the ones that I think you... By the way, we used to play this on tour, and then we just kind of stopped because we would all get stumped, and Tony would never get stumped. And it was just not fun anymore because we would like try to find actors that weren't even born yet. And he was like, when he's born, he's cast in this. <laughs> it's like, okay, Tony Baker. All right, so give me a second to write these down. You guys actually are coming up with way better ones than we were coming up with on tour. Okay. I miss, I miss being on tour with Tony, man. We had some good times. Mm, we had tour some. was fun, man. Oh, we man. was in Amsterdam. Man, we were in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Spain. We had some fun, man. I we was, was out here trying to get that Rona. Bruh. We was trying you know to get what, it. I might have had it. Probably so. I, I was sick like three weeks ago, and I, I, I get sick often, but usually it's two days. Um, I had body aches, fever, headache the first two or three days. I had no appetite, which tells you something was uh, wrong with me. You had a virus. And then after that went away, I got a cough that took forever to go away. So I think you had it though. Know. All right, let me I'm I'm going down. They 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 they, they go test you, Tone. Oh man. They're doing a good job of see the key. I'm gonna give y'all a little key. The key is picking <laughs> actors and actresses that haven't been in that many movies. Oh man. I oh, definitely have certain actors that are my Achilles heel. Yeah. Tell them, don't give you no 1930s. And no, no, 30s. they're not. They're giving you all, all okay. solid people. All right. They're just giving you one. Okay. I'll tell you my weakness right now. Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck okay. Norris is my like, Achilles heel. I'm going to get a couple more. And I'm not going to check Tony because Tony doesn't need to be checked. He, he knows. If he says it, he will... He will doggone check himself if he's wrong. <laughs> uh, you guys are giving some good ones, man. All right, I'm going to do these. If we're going to go do another round, I'll get more. I'll go through the comments later. These, I'm excited about this. Okay. Jeffrey Wright and Susan Sarandon. Oh, okay. Jeffrey Wright and Susan Sarandon. Shout out to Susan Sarandon. I love her as an actress. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Wright, Susan Sarandon. Here we go. Already, Jeffrey Wright was in, dang, I just lost it, hold on. Jeffrey Wright, wait, what did I just have? Oh, I just had the connection, it was so simple. You got too cocky. Jeffrey Wright, oh, here we go. Jeffrey Wright was in Shaft with Samuel Jackson who was in Long Kiss Goodnight with Gina Davis who was in Thelma Louise with Susan Sarandon. Man. That's, yeah. Gina Davis. Love Gina her. Davis. Shout out to Gina Davis as well. Oh, uh, what's the movie with her in baseball and Tom Hanks? Uh, oh, League of Their Own. Oh. 
a league of their own. There's, There's no, no crime, crime in baseball. baseball? Oh, great film. So good. Okay. Whoopi Goldberg and Bokeem Woodbine. Oh, snap. Y'all going for the jugular. Okay. Don't you know they have some, they got some <laughs> ones in here. Man, that's what we doing out here? And by okay. the way, these are all movies. Uh, there's no TV connections. He has okay. to do all movies. Whoopi Goldberg and Bo Keem Woodbine. Now, I know there's a connection I could use. I feel like Whoopi Goldberg was in some Women Thou Art Loose or something, but I can't really confirm that. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Bo Keem Woodbine. All right, here we go. Oh, hold on. Got it. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Bokeem Woodbine. Here we go. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right. Bokeem Wood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, do 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 do. Ah. Bokeem Woodbine, Whoopi Goldberg. Bokeem Woodbine, Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. Oh, ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, see, now I can't. Oh, hold on. Here we go. I'm getting closer. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Oh, uh, all right. So, Whoopi Goldberg was in The Color Purple with Lawrence Fishburne, who was in, um, dang, I lost it. I lost it. Hold on. Uh, oh, lost it. Lawrence Fishburne is, is, is a key in here somewhere. Yep. Um, Lawrence Fishburne. Uh -uh. Hold on, let me think. Hold <laughs> on, let me think. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is absolutely your connector. Yeah. Lawrence Fishburne. Man, I just had it. Hold on. Let me let me backtrack. Boom. Was in. Oh man, I lost it. Okay. Put one in the comments too. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, Tone, I you go, you know this, Tone. You Man. gotta think of Bokeem's small roles with big, big cast tone. Right. Um man, I, I okay, here we go. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this in the pocket right here. But why, why am I? Dang, dog. Can I give you a hint, Tone? This Hold is not on. the answer. This is just a movie to help you. This is not the answer. I'm going to give you the book he would buy movie to help you. Actually, no, I want you to fail. Yeah, let, let me, let me. Uh... I want you to fail. Because you never failed, Octor. We never got you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hold on. It'd be a shame if you didn't get it, wouldn't you? That's how the villains always turn around. <laughs> Having trouble with Bokeem Woodbine, are we? <laughs> the treachery. <laughs> the treachery. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh, let me see. Okay. Bo King Woodbine. 
was in ooh, 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 oh oh <laughs> This is tough. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Why am I? I'm telling you what you're flaking on, Tone. I'm gonna help you. Can I help you? No. Okay. You cannot help. Okay. Bokeem Woodbine. Ah, ah, Sabrina. Ah. And I'm just trying to help him. No. <laughs> It, it hurts to watch this struggle. Watch him struggle. He's going to wake up in the middle of the night and like, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Man. All right. So, so let me, let me, let me just break down while I'm, while I'm talking. So people ain't just sitting here. Let me break down Bo Keen Woodbine's trajectory. He debuted in this movie called Strap, which was made for HBO. And then he started like, popping up in more and more stuff, kind of like, and I feel like his acting got better as he progressed. And then he was in Strap, and then he was in like this movie Caught Up, but then he did Jason's Lyric. Jason's Lyric with Jada Pinkett, who was in The Matrix Reloaded with Lawrence Fishburne, who was in The Color Purple with no, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, me out I here. knew you had it. Man. Ah, that wasn't even the movie I was going to give you. I was going to give you life. Life is a huge cast. I was trying to use life. That's why I started, because it was it was so many people in that. But I couldn't get to Whoopi Goldberg, because Whoopi Goldberg is tough. If that's the one that always gets you. She's big, but all her movies were early in the 80s, yeah. early 90s, or late 80s, yeah. early 90s. And she stopped. Right. And I was Apparently like, she was in this Tyler Perry movie recently. Yeah, see, I... Man, whoo, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, here we go. That was a tough uh, one. Man. Uh, <laughs> my, this seems easy, but I don't know. Martin Lawrence and Kevin Hart. Martin Lawrence and Kevin Hart. Here we go. Martin Lawrence and Kevin Hart. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Martin Lawrence and Kevin Hart. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, oh, okay. Uh, Martin Lawrence, Kevin Hart, not as easy as it seems. Okay, here we go. Okay, Martin Lawrence was in Boomerang with Eddie Murphy, who was in Meet Day with Kevin Hart. Too easy, Tamala Mann and Bill Cosby. Uh, Tamala Man, I'm not really familiar. Is she the one from uh, all the Medea one? movies? Oh my God. Okay. And who? And Bill Cosby. <sighs> this is dirty right here. <laughs> this is Bill. Y'all playing dirty with this one. Did you watch all the all the Medea movies? No, but uh man, Tamala Man and Bill Cosby. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. All right. Uh, Tamala Man. Okay, let me think about the Medea movies and who was in these joints. Okay. 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 I think I can do it. I, I think I can do it. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Um, Wait, who who is it? Tamala Man. Okay, Bill Cosby. okay, Bill Cosby. Oh wait, I just lost my God, I just lost my train. All right, here we go. Tamala Man, Tamala Man, Tamala Man. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, Tamala Man was in. She was in. I don't know if she was in this. That's the thing. Which one? Uh, so I'm gonna just use I'm gonna use Tyler Perry as an extra body. Okay. To give me that. Okay. Uh Tamala Mann was in uh was she in Boo? The Halloween, Medea Halloween? I don't know. I can't even I, I don't let me check. I can't remember who Tamala Mann is exactly. She's Cora. 
Uh, He's Medea's daughter. <clears throat> let me check. Yeah, she was in Boo, right? Yeah, let me check. Because I know she wasn't in every movie. Okay. So, Tamala Man. Like she was in Boo. It doesn't, she wasn't in it? Nope. Oh. Let me check her. Uh, since you, well, I, I can't help you at all, huh? Nope. All right. Tamala Man was in. Uh, she was in the early Tyler Perry movies. Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Yep. With Tyler Perry, who was in Medea's Big Happy Family with Bow Wow, who was in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift with oh. Vin Diesel. If you get to a fast who was, it's over. He was with Vin Diesel, who was in Philad I mean, who was in Saving Private Ryan with Tom Hanks, who was uh. in with Denzel, who was in <laughs> who was in Devil in the Blue Dress with Don Cheadle, who was in Meteor Man with Bill Cobb. So that's a lot of people though. Hold on, let me count it up. I don't know so, if that was six. I, I'm more impressed that you even could have done that. Man, so so we got Don Cheadle, uh, Tom Hanks, Vin Diesel, Bow Wow, Tyler Perry. So that's five. <laughs> wow, that was tough, man. Whoever I told they had, they're giving the good ones. Whoever gave me that was trash. Justin Timberlake and Ice T. Oh wow. That's what we doing out here. They got some doozies, Tom. I can't even think of no Justin Timberlake movies, man. Justin Timberlake, what was he in? I know he was in this movie, In Time, with, uh, I think it was that Big Eyed Girl. <laughs> that, that I don't even know what you're talking it. about. That was just funny. <laughs> She got these huge eyes, pretty eyes, but I can't think of her name. She was in Mama Mia and Mila Kunis. No, no, no. Um, oh, that's a different movie. That's uh, what's that? Justin Timberlake, Adam Sand. I mean, Ashton Kutcher and somebody else made a similar movie like right around the same time. Yeah, that's Friends Justin. or Friends with Benefits. Maybe oh, Friends with Benefits. That was actually Justin Timberlake and uh, Mila Kunis. That's not the movie you were thinking about? No, I was thinking about this movie, In Time, where it has something to do with uh, times. It's like a currency on your life or something like that, but I never saw it. Uh, OK. OK. Justin Timberlake and who? And uh, Ice-T. Oh, dirty, man. <laughs> OK, but he, it's, it's a real simple connection. <clears throat> Justin Timberlake was in Friends with Benefits with Mila Kunis, who was in Book of Eli with Denzel, who was in Mo Better Blues with Wesley Snipes, who was in, wait, who am I connected? <laughs> oh, 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 who was in New Jack City with Ice T? Man, Tony, my favorite baker. All right. Uh, it's real loud. This, this one, if you do, I, I don't know how you do it. Jonathan Lip Nicky. Oh, come on. And Anthony Anderson. Come on, man. <laughs> Jonathan Lip Nicky? I can't even remember what movie made him hot. Did he get hot from uh tour time? No, he was, you know what? He was in Jerry Maguire. He oh, was Jerry I was thinking of Jonathan Taylor Thomas. That's the kid in Jerry Maguire. Yeah, John. Oh, y'all are even worse than I previously thought. And who? Jonathan Lipnicki and, and Anthony Anderson. <laughs> okay. Jonathan Lipnicki was in Jerry Maguire with uh hold on, let me uh I'm gonna get my laptop me... charger real quick, Tom. Okay. So Jonathan Lipnicki, he was in Jerry Maguire. He was that little cute kid with the glasses in Jerry Maguire, who was in um uh, who was in uh hold on now the connection is here. 
So we could do, because in Jerry Maguire, you had Tom Cruise, Renee Zellweger, Cuba Gooding Jr., Ari Spears, Regina King was in Jerry Maguire. So we got a nice little plate to work with. Let me do this connect fast. So uh, Anthony Anderson, let's look at his resume. He was in Transform. Oh, he was in the barbershop with mad people. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Jonathan Lipnicki was in Jerry Maguire with Regina King, who was in Boys in the Hood with Ice Cube, who was in the barbershop with Anthony Anderson. But Kev left. But you, for everybody that's watching, you saw the connection. I'll redo it when Kev comes back in. Woo! Y'all some real pieces of work. For these selections, y'all are giving me. Y'all, they all some real people. I'd be cussing if this wasn't Kev's platform. But since it's Kev's joint, I'm going I'm to I'm lay y'all off the hook on the cuss. But man, I want to fire on so many of y'all making these connections for me, man. I just want to fire on like seven of y'all. Just hit you right in the esophagus right now. Because y'all making it tough. Oh, snap. It's just me now. I'm the host now? Why am I the host? I don't know what just happened, y'all. I don't know what just happened. Oh, I'm panicking. Can y'all even still see me? I don't know what's going on. All I see is my screen. Ain't nothing. Oh, Kev is back. All I, right. What happened, Tone? We back though. Did you did you did you hear my connection? No. <laughs> Here we go. I was I was cussing the, the audience out for setting me up like this. All right. <laughs> Jonathan Lipnicki was in Jerry Maguire with Regina King, who was in Boys in the Hood with Ice Cube, who was in the barbershop with Anthony Anderson. Whoo! I say, whoo! I, I, luckily, I remember Jonathan Lipnicki. Hold on one second, Tone. I need to get one more thing to charge my phone. My laptop. Jerry Maguire. But back to y'all, man. Y'all some real, y'all chumps for trying to set me up like this, man. Trying to set me up for the fail. Y'all some real pieces of work, man. You a real piece of work. Real pieces of work. Jonathan Lipnicki. I wonder what he's up to. He's at home. <laughs> Everybody's at home now. It's a safe assumption. All right. Now I wonder if the, the live ended. Did it end? Might be. Hold on. Give me one second, Tom. Okay. I can't tell if we're live or not. Sabrina, are you watching this? Is he live? Sabrina say you're live. Can you comment, Sabrina? Can you can you comment? He said. Try to comment so we can see it. Oh, they're good. Oh, perfect. It's okay. back. All right. We back. All right. We back. All right. I'm, I, hold on one second, Tom. Okay. I had a meeting um, and I didn't realize it. How much time you got left, Tom? I got time. I ain't got nothing going. <laughs> I need to go get some steps in. That's about it. Yeah, I gotta get to. I'm about to be fat if I don't stop. All right. They they are much better at at this than we were, and I commit oh, them. They're trying to kill me out here, man. All right, Keanu Reeves and Lorenz Tate. Oh, okay. I like this. One. Um, I feel like there's a direct connection, but let me chill. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna use the same. Oh no, no, I can't do that. All right, hold on. Uh, Keanu Reeves and Lorenz Tate. Shout out to Lorenz Tate, who is an underrated actor, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. He can, he can, he can pull off anything you need him to. He can, he can be the straight guy, the straight up good dude. He can be a naive, innocent guy. He can be a heavy. He can be a thug. He can be a villain. Uh, he can be a ladies' man. I buy it all. 
buy it all, man. Also, part of the reason is he doesn't age. So you you bought him as Frankie Lyman and the politician in power. He could be yep. the same age. Nobody knows. Those are 20 years apart. Man, black don't crack, and he's from Chicago. I want to throw that in there. We, we look young coming out of here. Uh, let's see. Keanu Reeves and Lorenz Tate. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Why am I, why am I tripping on this? Okay, Keanu Reeves was in The Matrix Reloaded with Jada Pinkett Smith, who was in the Inkwell with Lorenz Tate. That was a quick one for you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're still throwing in some good ones, and I'm trying to write them down. Christina Milian and Gerard Butler. Christina Milian is in movies? Uh, this is where it gets tough right here. She's in movie. Oh, my God. All I got to work with is Nick Cannon. Love don't cost a thing. That's my only springboard? I've never even seen this movie. I know it tanked at the box office. Wait, Christina Milian and Gerard Butler? And Gerard Butler. <laughs> oh, that is disrespect. They are out here, man. This is disrespectful right here. All right. <laughs> they man, just dirty. I, tell you, I would have no shot. I'd be like, ah, yeah. They are dirty for this. Just yeah. absolute filth. Because even Nick Cannon's resume is not that extensive. Not on the movies. No. Not on the movies. All right. Um... I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to go into roll bounce because it's a lot of people in that. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna try to scoop out Shy McBride, who was in that. He played the dad of Bow Wow. That might be my glue, or or I could go with Cleo Thomas, who was also in this joint. He was. He. Ooh. He's probably an easier connection than Nick Cannon. Yeah, oh yeah. Cleo Thomas. Um so we could man, Gerard Butler. I'm trying to I'm trying to find I'm trying to think about the stuff he's been in. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, that's the wrong movie, wrong movie. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is trash. Uh Cleo Thomas was in Gerard Butler. Okay, what was he in? P he was in PS I Love You, even though I've never seen it, but a lot of people are in that. Uh he was in 300. He was in okay. Ooh. <laughs> Olympus is falling. Now wow. we got Morgan Freeman in the mix, who's been in everything. You get more than everything. Freeman, it's a, it's a, it's Once a, you get Morgan Freeman, you're home free. It's your home free. Hey, all right. Okay. Uh, and, and Angela Bassett is in one of them Olympus joints, which makes it even better for your boy. Okay. So she was in Black Panther. You get Black Panther, you're in the Marvel oh, universe. It's all it's you home free. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh Morgan Freeman. Uh Morgan Freeman. Gerard Butler, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman was in uh ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, let me think about. Okay. Uh, uh huh. So here we go. Nick Cannon has to be used. So Christina Milian was in Love Don't Cost a Thing with Nick Cannon, who was in Roll Bounce. With now, who who am I connecting here? No, that's Wesley Jonathan in, in Roll Bounce. Oh, Nick Cannon wasn't in Roll. That's right, he wasn't in it. So, uh, Roll Bounce is off the table. Yeah, I think that's Wesley Jonathan. Okay, say no more. So <laughs> we, I gotta do, I gotta do Drumline. Then I gotta go to Drumline because uh, I, I didn't no, see. You're right. That you're right. Nope, nope, nope. You're wrong. I mean, I'm wrong. Nick Cannon is in Roll Bounce. The oh. bad guy was Wesley Jonathan. Back yeah. on the table. Okay. Back on the table. So we, oh, hold on. Nick Cannon was also in a movie I hated, Chirac. 
He was. Now we cook it with grease because now I have Sam Jackson. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sam Jackson, you, it's, it is literally any connector ever. If you I got too many connected. choices now. I, my nose. We were trying to get you when we were playing, like, do not give him Sam, nobody with Sam. He does 8 million movies. Yes. Sam in a movie you used to use on the tour a lot. I'm not gonna give it to you until after because you used to go to it all the time when you would be stumped. <laughs> and I'm not gonna give it to you. If you can do it, I will tell you what it is. Here we go. All right, so we got Sam Jackson now. So Christina Milian, Love Don't Cost a Thing with Nick Cannon, who was in Chirac with Samuel L. Jackson, who was in, uh, let me think about Gerard Butler's uh, pedigree I feel like it's hard to put Morgan Freeman and Sam Jackson in the same movie because I feel like they haven't been in the same movie oh Tom, you miss this movie that you're missing is giving you everything you need oh wow I can, oh, I there's eight million people in this movie yes I love you probably no it's not oh. that you forgot. You used to have this movie top of mind. We used to play this game on tour. Mm. And if you could get to this movie or any Marvel game, any Ocean's Eleven or Fast and the Furious, you would be connected. And they put it in the comments, and I'm not going to tell you because you will have it in a second. Okay. Uh, um, let's see. Okay. Here we go. Gerard Butler was in Olympus is Fallen with Morgan Freeman, who was in Red with Bruce Willis, who was in Die Hard with a Vengeance with Sam Jackson, who was in Chirac with Nick Cannon, who was in Love Don't Cost a Thing with Christina Milian. I probably went the long way, but. Be cool. Christina Milian is in Be Cool. I didn't know she was in that, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I had nothing for her. She. If I had Be Cool, then. You'd be done. You'd yeah. be done. I had no Be Cool. All right. I had to work with the scraps I was given. The model a, made miracles every day's given. <laughs> okay, Eddie Redmayne. Ooh. And Denzel Washington. Oh, man, I can't think of nothing he's been. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. oh. Eddie Redmayne is in the uh, the Harry Potter spinoff. Uh, the Harry Potter spinoff is called Oh, I can't think of the name of the Harry. It's a Harry Potter prequel because it has young Dumbledore in it. It's uh, uh, Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beasts. So Eddie, that, that's my springboard. That's what I'm using. So he's in Fantastic Beasts with, we said who? Eddie Redmayne. Uh, and, Eddie Redmayne and. uh has been watching. Denzel Washington. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Dad joke. Who's Terrence Howard's favorite actor? Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne. Mine. <laughs> Eddie Redmayne. Mine. Uh, <laughs> Eddie Redmayne. Mm. Was in... Wait, who was my connection? Okay, Eddie Redmayne was in Fantastic Beasts with Carmen Ijogo, who was in Metro with Eddie Murphy, who was in Dolomite Is My Name with Wesley Snipes, who was in Mo Better Blues with Denzel Washington. Man, you got Carmen Ijogo? Yes. You pulled out Carmen Ijogo. Ijogo. Wow. You pulled her smooth out. I just learned her name. I didn't realize she was uh Coretta Scott King and um yes, she was. Yes, she Woo! was. Tony, my favorite baker. <laughs> uh Ice Cube and Meryl Streep. Ooh, you dirty bastard. <laughs> 
Ice Cube and Meryl Streep. Okay. We're going to do this. Ice Cube and Meryl Streep. Here we go. It's going to be easier than I thought. If I can just get this one part right. I just got I just got one missing piece. Uh, Meryl Streep and Ice Cube. Mer oh. Meryl Streep and Ice Cube. Okay. Uh, Meryl Streep was in Oh. Woo, I can't think of the name of the movie. They said I was helping in the comments. I, I, I we were talking about Fantastic Beasts. He knew the name of the movie, guys. Come I on. knew I knew the movie. I yeah. just needed that name. Uh Meryl Streep was in It's Complicated with Alec Baldwin, who was in Wait, who am I connected? Oh, Ice Cube. Okay. Yep. Meryl Streep was in It's Complicated with Alec Baldwin, who was in The Departed with Mark Wahlberg, who was in Three Kings with Ice Cube. You done it again, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Michael Jackson to Sanai Lathan. Bruh, man. Y'all just getting. Wait, Michael Jackson in any. Oh, no, he was. Y'all desperate for this. Hey, Moonwalker was released theatrically. It was. I'll give you Moonwalker. Okay. I'll give it to you. Hey, wait, Michael Jackson and who? Michael Jackson to uh, Sanaa Lathan. <laughs> okay, here we go. I got you, Chinoa. I got you. It's, I got it. It's written down. Chinoa, I got you. I got you. Here we go. Uh, man, this is... Whew. This is a doozy. Okay. Michael Jackson, Sanaa Lathan. This man. is a tough one, man. Man, this is this is these this are is hard. Cool. They're giving cool. you hard ones. Michael Jackson and Sanaa Lathan. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We cooking with something. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Here we, here we go. Good old Sam Jackson coming through in the clip. Sam Jackson strikes again. All right. So Michael Jackson was in The Wiz with Richard Pryor. Who was in Harlem Nights with Eddie Murphy? Who was in Coming to America with Sam Jackson? Oh, you dirty dog. Who was in Juice with Omar Epps? Who was in Love and Basketball with the beautiful Sam Ali? You pulled Sam Jackson out of Coming to America. Man, listen, man. You dirty he, dog. He robbed the McDowell's coming through. Daniel Kaluuya. Ooh. And Donnie Yen. Mm. <laughs> oh, y'all dirty for this. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Donnie Yen. Love Donnie Yen. Legend. Uh, IP man. I need to work. Man, work. come on, man. Legendary. Donnie Yen and Daniel Kaluuya. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, can, Tom. Ah, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> I'm help you. All right, so it's a lot of people in Black Panther. Daniel's in that. That's what I was gonna say. I, I didn't want to say it, but I, I was like, "Oh, get out!" The Queen is. Oh, he was in. He was in Black. So Panther. many people to choose from. It's just it's now. You just want to show if you you want to be creative. That's all you're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so okay. Oh, oh, okay. Boom. Oh, here's the here's the direct connect. Donnie Yen was in Rogue One with Forrest Whitaker, who was in Black Panther with Daniel Kaluuya. I knew it. I said Donnie Yen was in Rogue One. That has a lot of people. And Daniel Kaluuya was in Black Panther. Has too, too many people. You wouldn't think from the beginning because they make totally different movies. Right. They in movies with too many different people. Yes, indeed. Okay, Vince Vaughn and Oprah Winfrey. 
Oh, they just playing for keeps over they there. They have you know, literally all hard ones. Man, the, thing, the hard ones look easy. These I I wouldn't have got so many of these. But you know what? This is easy. Oprah Winfrey was in uh, Wrinkle in Time with Reese Witherspoon, who was in Oh, I can't remember the name of the movie. It's like 40 Christmases or something. Oh, 30. Vince Vaughn? Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon was in this movie called... It was... Uh, You're so close. At four Christmases. It's four. four. There we go. Yes. You were just right there. I mean, it's you. it would have taken you a second. Constance Wu and The Rock. Oh, uh, Okay. Okay, here we go. Constance Wu. Oh, hold on. I got I got a couple of different directions to go with this. <laughs> okay, so we got Constance Wu, who was in Hustlers with Jennifer Lopez. Uh, Kiki Palmer was in that thing. And then we have. Okay, there we there's a connection. Constance Wu was in Hustlers with Kiki Palmer, who was in the long shots with Ice Cube. Wait, who am I connected? Uh, Constance Wu and The Rock. Oh, uh, long shots with Ice Cube, who was in Ride Along with Kevin Hart, who was in Jumanji with The Rock. Yeah. It's too easy, Tone. It's too easy for you. Sylvester Stallone and Anthony Mackie. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be this is gonna be easy. Cause, cause Anthony oh, Mackie. I messed up. I shouldn't have picked this one. <laughs> Anthony I, Mackie. Let's forget about it, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> we taking it off tape. Take it off, man. Oh. He's in the Avengers. That's right. Special Stallone's in the Expendables. There's three oh. billion people in so both. Special Stallone was in Guardians of the Galaxy too. That was gonna be even a quicker connect. Oh my God! No, <laughs> forget it. Forget I'm it. I'm about to tear that in half. Kate Blanchett, whom you love, and Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh, okay. Shout out to Kate Blanchett, my favorite actress. Uh, and Joseph Gordon Levitt. I like him a lot too. Uh, all right, let's go. Kate Blanchett, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Here we go. Kate Blanchett was in The Aviator with Leonardo DiCaprio, who was in Inception with Joseph Gordon Levitt. Too easy. Too easy. Chris Tucker and DMX. Oh. <laughs> okay. Chris Tucker and DMX. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's think about DMX for a second. Mm -hmm. DMX was in Belly. He was in um, he was in Exit Wounds with Steven Seagal. Wait, we doing DMX and Chris? Okay, uh, Steven Seagal. Oh, okay. Uh, let me think about Chris Tucker for a second. Chris Tucker was in Money Talks. He was in um, The Fifth Element. So good in that. He was good in that. My favorite Chris Tucker role of all time. Well, Smokey is absolutely. My favorite acting performance of Chris Tucker was Dead President. Me too. He, he killed it. I feel like we don't remember. People don't mention him a lot in that movie. And he was one of my favorite parts of it. He was dope, man. And he wasn't doing Chris Tucker stuff. Right. He was funny in the beginning. Then you saw the shift in him when he came back from Vietnam. He came back from Vietnam. It was not, ain't nothing's funny no more. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know what I saw over there. I believe him. I got uh, D-Man 423. I already got it written down. Okay. So Chris Tucker, D I feel like it's a... There's a faster way to get these two together, though. Um, okay. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh. No. All right. Chris Tucker and DMX. Chris Tucker and DMX. DMX was in Exit Wounds, Never Die Alone. There it is. There it is right there. Chris Tucker was in Friday with Ice Cube, who was in the barbershop, with Michael Ely, who was in Never Die Alone with DMX. There it is. DMX was also in Top 5. He was in Top Oh, that was an all-star cast. All-star cast. And Hathaway... Oh. The T.I. Okay, this will be, uh, this shouldn't be too hard. Let me really think. Anne Hathaway. Not Anne Hathaway. And T.I. Okay. We got time for two more after this. I got a meeting that I'm late to. I didn't, I took, it wasn't on my calendar. I'm all over the place with Corona. Okay, here we go. T.I. T.I. And let's see, Clifford Harris. <laughs> T.I. Okay. And Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway and T.I. T.I., he's building up a nice little resume. He is. He's a good actor. He is. Oh, you know what? Uh, so he was in American Gangster, which also had Common in it. Common was in Wanted with Morgan Freeman, who was in The Dark Knight Rises with good old Anne Hathaway. Once you got to Morgan Freeman, I knew it was all over. Morgan Freeman is a wreck. Viola Davis to Jack Black. Viola Davis, good old Viola Davis. Lover. Can do no wrong. Can do no wrong. Viola <laughs> Davis is good. Tremendous actress. Uh, and who? Jack Black? And Jack Black. Easy work. Viola Davis was in... Oh, Viola Davis was in Suicide Squad with uh -huh. Will Smith, who was in... Wait, I just lost it. How'd I lose it that quick? Hold on. <laughs> How'd I lose it that quick? Jack Black. Yo, I'm mad that I lost it that fast. <laughs> oh, here we go. Viola Davis, Suicide Squad, Will Smith, Any Minute State, Jack Black. There it is. There it is. Forrest Whitaker to Lindsay Lohan. Force Whitaker to Lindsay Lohan. All right, here we go. Lindsay Lohan. Uh, now she was in Machete, but I can't remember if it was Machete. So we just going, I'm going to keep it on the up and up. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Lizzie Lohan was in Herbie, Fully Loaded. Oh my God. With Michael Keaton, who was in Spider Man Homecoming. Wait, who am I connecting? <laughs> Lindsay Lohan to Forrest Whitaker. Oh, and then with Tom Holland, who was in Avengers. Infinity War with uh, Chadwick Boseman, who was Anybody, in Black Okay, Panther. Black Panther, we know it. it <laughs> okay, two more. Gary Busey and Rob Lowe. Ooh, hey, dirty for this. <laughs> oh, man, I might be sitting here for a minute on this one. Rob Gary Lowe? And Rob Lowe? Oh, oh, yeah. Rob Lowe. And Rob Lowe and Gary Busey. And Gary Busey, yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dang, Rob Lowe Rob is more Rob. of a movie actor, but he has been in some things. He has, man. He's been in. He's, a, he's in a comedy that I can't. I can't think of the the name of it. I, I know it's an Adam Sandler joint. 
but I can't eat it. It might not even be a ham sandwich, though. But anyway, but no, no clues, no help. Rob Lowe. I'm not, I'm not helping. Wait, Rob Lowe and Gary Buse. Okay. Whew, you do this one. This your Rob. If you know Rob Lowe movies, I, I wouldn't be able to give you one of these. Uh, there's one I would have. No, I would. I remember now, but I wouldn't have remembered then. Wait a minute. Was he? I think Rob Lowe was in St. Elmo's Five. He was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rob Lowe. So bad. I mean, come on. Rob Lowe was in St. Elmo's Fire. And we connected them to Gary Busey. Okay. Here we go. Rob Lowe was in St. Elmo's Fire with Demi Moore, who was in Color Purple. I mean, Demi Moore, who was in Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg, who was in The Color Purple with Danny Glover, who was in Predator 2 with Gary Busey. <laughs> Man, that was a tough one. You didn't it? even go Austin Powers one and two. That's, that's the comedy I couldn't remember. That's the oh. comedy I was thinking of. Man, such a good movie. They some pieces of work for these. And this one, if you get this one, either way, this is the final one. Mm -hmm. If you get this one, you're special. You're already special, but specialer. Sydney Poitier. Poitier. Oh, wow. Wow. And John Cena. Oh, y'all are just all the way trash for this. Who cooked this up? <laughs> this was a tough one. I'm not, who's, I don't remember what, maybe D-Man? I'm not sure. Who's responsible for this? Oh, this, this is trash, man. This is a tough, nope, D-Man did Gary Busey and Rob Lowe. Okay, John Cena is and Sidney Poitier. Shout out to Sidney Poitier. He's in his nineties, yo. And right. He's still out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sidney Poitier was in uh... Sidney Poitier in Miami. Sydney Portier. Ooh, here we go. I can use this movie right here. There's a lot of people in that. And then John Cena. Hmm. What's John Cena been in? Ooh. Okay. Whew. All these Sydney Portier movies, I wouldn't be able to give you nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Man. Sydney Portier and John Cena. Uh, okay. Let me let me feel. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm looking at his movie. Wow. And I'm like I got nothing. Oh, I got some. I got some weapons. Okay. Here we go. I'm just finding the the glue for this one area. Uh, Sydney Portier, John Cena. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Sydney Portier, John Cena. Well, why am I? Okay. I feel like I haven't seen Sydney Portier in anything since like the 90s. Yeah, that's, you're absolutely right, Tony. All right. I'm sure you're loving it right now. I am in heaven. It looks like the last. Oh no, he's. I'm not gonna give you the title, but he was in a movie in 2001. Uh, but he kind of stopped being as active in 19. Before 2001, the last one was like 1999, 1997. None of these are big movies that I even. I don't even know any of these actually. Okay. Um, Sydney Portier, John Cena. Here we go. I mean, this, this man, Sydney Portier, was in movie. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Dang, man, this is this is a good one. Whoever cooked this up needs to be it's a good one, man. Woo! Forty-eight, John C. Forty-eight. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm getting I'm getting some nice little <laughs> popping up. Uh, okay. Man, this is tough. This is tough. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Oh. <laughs> hey. oh. Oh. Okay. Sydney Portier. Okay, I ha I have that. Now I need to get over to This other side. Okay. Um, ooh. Okay, here we go. 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 All right. All right. Uh, I just lost everything I had in my brain. Where was I going with all of this? We don't know, Tony. You're thinking in your head. All right. So let me let me talk out loud because I've seen it connected better that way. John Cena. Okay. So what I'm trying to connect him on is uh okay, here we go. There, there's the connection. So Sidney Poitier was in Sneakers with Ben Kingsley, who was in Iron Man 2. You dirty dog! With Robert Downey Jr., who was in Avengers Endgame with Paul Rudd, who was in Ant-Man and Wasp with Michelle Pfeiffer, who was in Tequila Sunrise with Mel Gibson, who was in Daddy's Home 2 with John Cena. So that was... That was Sneakers! Mail you pulled out sneakers? I had to. My God! That wasn't even one of the ones I thought you were going to go with. Because I, I was looking at either sneakers, shoot to kill, uh, or because um, I, I was going to try River Phoenix as a connector, but I, I was like... I thought you were going to go with one of the Bill Cosby movies as the connector, but that might... That was too far back. Yeah. Yeah. Because James Earl Jones was in there, but I, I didn't want to go the voice route with James. So I was just like... You could have went the real route with uh, Star Wars. That that was just his voice, though. I mean, but that was... I mean, come on. Yeah. I Wait, didn't want to get in going. the suit? No, nah, I don't think that was him in the suit. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I know when no, they I put... I think you're right. Zay! Is James Earl Jones just the voice for Darth Vader, or is he? did he actually act? Oh, yeah, it was a white dude when they took the mask off. Yeah. I can't believe you did that, Tony. I, I, I like Sidney Poitier Man, and John Cena. That was tough. I told you guys we could not stump him. You guys gave Tony way better ones than we ever they did. They gave me the business. We should do this again, Tony, since we both got nowhere to go. Then let me know, man. I'm here. I'm at the house. And by the way, I'm not even doing no videos with nobody outside of my house next week. I'm I'm going full on social distancing. Whatever you need, let me know. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be at the house. Tony Baker Comedy is his cash app. I mean, I'm going to split the YouTube money with him up for this. So I don't have to worry about that. But you want to send some bread to Tony straight up at Tony Baker Comedy on cash app. Subscribe to Tony's YouTube page where he does his movie reviews. He does uh, daddy issues. He does... Um, 
You ain't been okay. doing the game, have you? I'm bringing, I'm bringing Jenga back. I want to have you back on there. I'm about to start. I want to shoot a bunch of Jingas in one day and just have a whole season of. I want to come back because I had you, but then I lost. So. And if there's anything, if it's any topics you can think of that we can we can go back and forth about while we Jenga, by all means, let me know. Perfect. All right, appreciate y'all. Stay safe during that Rona and stay subscribed to us. We'll be filling you up with the content on all of our social media platforms during these trying times. Absolutely. Peace. All right. All right.